Hi guys, it's Ben here, and we've just beaten Hertha Berlin 3 0 away from home and looked very comfortable in doing so. Uh, as my subscribers will know, I'm not in my usual setting, I'm not on my desk, there's no bookshelf behind me, so if you are new, this is not what it usually looks like on this channel, it's usually a lot more professional and refined than this, but I'm in Devon this weekend visiting my parents and doing various things down here, so I have to make do on the mobile phone, holding it up in front of me in a vlog style sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, just watched the game um, on the internet, so very pleased with the performance. I thought we looked very assured, we looked like a real level above them, to be honest with you. Uh, so the goals from Solanke and Van Alden and then uh, Salah in the second half rounding it off, a really impressive performance. Um, much easier than I expected, really. I thought Berlin, you know, they finished sixth in the Bundesliga last season. I expected a pretty, pretty tough challenge, but wasn't to be. So let's rattle through these player ratings. I'm not going to edit this down. Let's just have a little talk about them all. Um, Defence-wise, I'm not going to spend too much time. I mean, Mignolet didn't have much to do. Gomez, I'll give Mignolet a six. Gomez got forward pretty well, looked okay. It's interesting that we're seeing a bit of him at right back, a bit of, a bit of him at centre back. Um, so I'm not sure where his real sort of future lies in the in the near future, whether he's going to be competing, you know, across the back four. But he did okay, another six. Matip, six. Clavin, six. Like, there's just not too much to say about those. Moreno, the same, really. Um, got forward okay. One really late tackle, stupid late tackle towards the end, towards the end of the first half, which you never know, less said about that one, the better. But yeah, six for him as well. But where it got really exciting was going forward. Um, so Emre Chan, I thought, was very, very impressive. Every time he picked up the ball, he was just looking to drive forward with pace. Um, showed some real determination for his first game back, cold after a long time off, after the Germany uh, exploits he had. I thought it was right up to speed. Um, and I have no problem with him starting in that sixth position if Henderson in any way was unable to. So yeah, brilliant from him as expected. I'm going to leave him a seven. Um, just please sign a thing as soon as possible. Vinaldum, a very impressive, lovely goal. First time he scored for Liverpool away from home, albeit in a friendly. I think he gets a seven as well. I thought his movement was very good. Um, always shown for the ball, very strong. Typical Van Alden performance, really. Lalana, good assist for Solanke's goal. Put himself about, good pressing for him as usual. Um, he gets a seven as well. Mane had a couple of chances. Should maybe have done better with those, but his general... The, the, the excitement that comes with him playing, it's just brilliant. It's just great to see him back on the pitch. He's such a threat. I think he should have had a penalty. I think he, he made a run inside, cut across the defender, looked to just sort of move it around him, got taken out. Um, so, but yeah, he was lively as always, 7 out of 10. Um, who played on the left first half? I'm going to have to remind myself. I can't, I, I don't, Solanke was up front. Um, oh, Coutinho was on the left, wasn't he? Of course. Yeah, so Solanke... Wonderful, wonderful. The head of the keeper should have done better, but um, his work to win the ball for the second goal as well was majestic. Um, I just, I'm just really excited about him. He scored another goal. Like I don't know. Have Chelsea just literally let a player that could literally slot into Liverpool's first team now? Have Chelsea just let him slip through their fingers straight away? It's, it's mental, but really impressive again. I, I don't think there's any part of his game that I'm not feeling good about at the moment. Um, Lovely run for the header, and he just he just knew he had to dink it over the keeper. There wasn't that much space. He wasn't off his line per se, and but he should have saved it. But he put it in a place where it was tough to save. He had to generate his own power because it was a very soft cross from Milana. But look, Solanke, eight out of ten. Why not eight out of ten? And then Coutinho. Well, I mean, he was he was good in the first half. He showed his touches, but the assist for Salah's goal in the second half was. <sighs> He had to weave his way out of trouble. He had his back to, to goal. He was in his, deep inside our own half, as you, I'm sure you've seen the goal. And then he just weaves his way out with so much pace and acceleration. Just looks up. Salah's just began to make the run. And he picks him out absolutely perfectly. Just puts on a plate for him. Salah still has to do a lot with the finish. But that assist was just world class. Um, Coutinho has to get an 8 out of 10 for me. Second half saw Salah, Firmino, Sturridge, Robertson and Henderson come on. Robertson looked bright. I think that one... So he came on straight away and uh, had a shot, you know, decent effort from distance. And then there was one lovely cross when he overlapped. Um, he came from really deep, overlapping run, and just fizzed across in low towards Salah. Salah couldn't quite divert it in. But I was impressed with what I saw from him going forward in particular. There was one moment when he got caught going backwards, but I think a 7 out of 10 is fair for him. Henderson was his usual self, spraying balls. Looking assured, setting the tempo. I mean, he's looked fantastic in pre-season. Um, 7 out of 10 for him this time. 
Uh, Firmino still doesn't quite look there in front of goal. Um, I thought he got back well and his work rate was fine, but decision-making in the final third wasn't quite there. I think he gets a six. Daniel Sturridge, kind of likewise today, I guess. Um, I think he gets a six too. Yeah, a couple of chances to score, a couple of shots and distance that are okay. Uh, who am I missing here? Salah, yeah, great finish, wonderful finish. Look, it was on a plate for him from Coutinho. The ball was the ball was the most attractive thing about that goal, but the finish, the Dinks finish over the keeper was still very impressive. Um, it's three goals in preseason for Salah. He just looks like an absolute goal scoring machine. I'm gonna give him another eight out of ten. Um, who am I missing? Ryan Kent and John Flanagan. Oh, and Ajaria. Okay, so Ajaria looked okay. Nice little one-two, which almost resulted in the chance for him. He gets a six. And then Kent and Flanagan, let's give them sixes too. Um, I like Ryan Kent. I think he's been one of the surprise packages this preseason. But look, that was a very assured performance from Liverpool. I'm very happy. Um, I don't really have much more to ask for. That was much more convincing than I expected. And going into Munich on Tuesday, I'm quite excited. I think we can give them a good game. That was a stronger team today than I thought. Um, everyone got a game. I imagine it may be the same on Tuesday. But yeah. What can you say? Man of the match, um, Solanke. Dominic Solanke scores, works hard to get the, the second goal. Um, yeah, really impressive him. Coutinho's up there too. But we're looking pretty good, especially in attack. Defence didn't have much to do tonight. A couple of shaky moments when we were called upon, but on the whole, I'm very happy with that. And I'm very happy with preseason so far. We're looking fit. A lot of our key players are looking good. And let's hope this continues. So... Apologies for the poor quality on this one, apologies are not in my normal place, but, you know, family calls, we're in Devon this weekend, so um, please do subscribe if you are new, thanks again for a thousand subscribers, it really does mean a lot, cheers to that, hope to uh, continue this growth, I'm enjoying it a lot, and uh, many more series to come this week as well, lots more to come for non liverpool fans too, as well as Liverpool fans, um, let's keep growing this channel, let's keep it going, let's keep commenting, comment your man of the match for this game, and your general thoughts on it. And yeah, follow my other socials too. Drop a like on this video, share it out. And uh, I'm Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.